Good afternoon. We'll now start. First of all, I would like to welcome everybody to this pep talk this afternoon. Please mute yourself, but always show your video picture. Sign in your name, your Facebook account, your email address in the chat box. Please include the names of companion attending with you. Use the uh, chat box to ask questions and make comments while the pep talk is on. There will be group, group pictures at the start and end of the pep talk. So please show your face in the video during the picture taking. A reminder, after the pep talk, please take the online learning cum evaluation test exercise for mastery of learning and have a perfect score to get a certificate like this. I have placed the link in the chat box. Another reminder, <clears throat> obtaining 50 Alete certificates will entitle one mentee to a voucher for a RO Hoson telemedical consultation, either face-to-face -face or telemedical. For your information, I have made a change in this uh, requirement. No? I have brought, starting 2024, only 25 Olete certificates okay, will entitle one mentee to a free voucher. Buwaba na yung requirements. No? Because I like to give everybody a chance to, uh, to have a free consultation with me okay, as soon as possible, as early as possible. Okay as frequent as possible. So starting this year, uh, I'll put down a notice in the uh, Facebook, in the uh, in my blog, that there'll be a change. So instead of 50, why did I 25? 25 or letter certificates will now entitle one mentee to a voucher for a free RO on telemedical consultation. So this is part of my continuing compassionate humanitarian program for my patients. Another request is uh, feed, uh, for the feedback. Please type in your feedback in the chat box during the open forum and before we adjourn. So let's now have a group picture taking before we start the pep talk proper. In two minutes, please show your face on the video. Ready? Uh, okay. Mary Ann Ribato, you want to join us in the picture taking? No, okay. No. Show your face. Start video. Oh. yung ibang participant. Mute yourself. Please mute. No? Okay. I mute. I'm sorry. And mute. Okay. And and then can you remove your raise raise hands? Can you remove it? Remove your raise hands. Anyways, just show your face already. Okay, just show your beautiful face in the on the, in the um, okay. One, two, I have a uh, patient empowerment program which I like to empower the lay people or patients to take control in the management of their health. I started this pep talk on May 15, 2021 during the COVID-19 pandemic. There are three courses in the pep talk. I completed the core course on October 9, 2021. So this green box shows the contents of the pep talk core course. Then from October 23, 2021 onwards, I have been tackling health disorder. Shown here, these are samples of the courses under health disorder courses and health issue courses. So today we will handle, we will tackle a health issue topic. 
So this may take three years or longer depending on our enthusiasm, discipline, and perseverance. But to tell you, we are now on our third year. So we will completing the third year on, on May 15, 2024. My pep talk today is entitled, Does Everyone Have Cancer Cells in the Body? This is a very common question being asked by almost everybody. So the empowerment objective is for the lay people to have an essential understanding on whether where everyone has cancer cells in their body and as part to, to have this understanding as part of their health management. So you, we know what to do. Okay? If we know the answer, we, if we have this information, whether it's a yes or no. Okay? Now the contents of this prep talk will be the following. I will phrase it in terms of questions. Does everyone have cancer cells in their body? Number two, does everyone inherently have cancer cells in their body that will eventually lead to cancer development during their lifetime? So I just uh, refined the first question with the word inherent and eventually. When you say inherent, it means it's existing, Okay, as a natural and basic part of something or someone, meaning it's bound to occur. So, corollary to these two questions, let me just uh, amplify the uh, the questions being asked as part of the contents of this pep talk. Does everyone inherently have cancer cells in their body that have the potential that or that may lead to cancer development during their lifetime? So these three questions are essentially the same, but I just <laughs> reinforce it with the word inherent, potential, and eventually. These are common questions being asked by the lay people. And the other content will be, the bottom line in this uh, on all these questions is, is, is it that everyone does not inherently have cancer cells in their body, but have initially normal cells that may eventually develop into cancer cells for one reason or another. Okay. So if the answer is no for the first three questions, probably it should be a yes for the last question here. Okay. So I'd like to make a disclaimer in this pep talk. My pep talk will contain my thoughts, perceptions, opinions, and recommendations called from my personal experiences as well as from other professionals and other uh, reading materials that I get from the internet. Let's start with the reality. The real things that's happening in our body. Our body is constantly producing new cells, some of which have the potential to become cancerous. Note the word have the potential, but that does not mean they are the steed to become cancer. I repeat, that does not mean they are the steed so to develop cancer. So all of them will not develop cancer. A typical healthy cell has a life cycle of growth. They grow, they divide, and later on, they, they die. Mm -hmm. So, but before we amplify on this statement, let me uh, describe to you what is a cell? A cell is the basic structural and functional unit in all forms of life, including human beings. And human beings are complex multicellular organisms made up of trillions. This is in terms of trillions, not millions, trillions of cells. Scientists estimate that the adult human body contains 37 trillion human cells. So this is an estimate. 37 trillion human cells. And the human body is made up of around 200, 200 different cell types and it's with a unique structure, size, shape, and set of small organs inside organelles. And each type of cell is adapted to perform a specific function. For example, you have cells called red blood cells, sadugo. So this is adapted to transport oxygen around the body. Then you have cells in the muscle, which we call muscle cells. 
which is adapted to enable movement. The mga galaw-galaw, okay? Adipocytes or fat cells are adapted for fat storage. And the neurons or nerve cells are adapted to transmit nerve impulses. And sex cells such as sperm and egg cells are adapted for reproduction. So these are examples of the different types of cells that can that have different specific functions. So here, this is an illustration. These are the cells, and then it tends to grow and divide okay, all the time, okay, throughout our lifetime. And they also undergo a death process, the natural so-called natural death okay, event. So the term here, when it's a program death, natural death, it's called apoptosis. That's the medical term, apoptosis. We will differentiate this from the other types of cells. Okay, that uh, cell death. Okay. So what is cell death? Cell death occurs when cells in our body stop working and die. So it is natural to happen. Cells in our body reproduce a process called cell division or mitosis. And experts believe that human, healthy human cells can replicate or divide up to 60 times before the cell death occurred. So one cell can divide 60 times before they die naturally. Our body is constantly making new cells to replace damaged and dying ones. Okay. Constantly doing that. Natural cell death, yung, yung natural course of the event. No? Okay. So the natural cell death keeps our body healthy and functioning. The problem arises, nagkakaroon ng problema, when the cell death does not happen. Kung dapat mamatay, hindi na mamatay, okay, does not happen as expected, or cell die when they should not be. Okay? Should not be do, should not be dying. So th those are the two problems with regards to the cell death. Dapat mamatay, pero hindi namatay. Okay? And then, bakit namatay? Dap dapat hindi siya mamatay. So if, if there are problems in that uh, two instances, then you will have a health problems. So a cancer cell is, a, is an abnormal cell that does not follow the so-called life cycle of growth, division, and death at a natural cycle. Instead of dying off as they should, let's say after 60 uh, division, 60 times, ayaw mamatay, Cancer cells reproduce more abnormal cells, and then this can invade the nearby tissue. Kakaini niya yung katabing, uh, uh, katabing tissue or laman ng katawan. Okay? They can also travel through the blood or lymph system to other parts of the body, which in medical term is called metastasis. Okay, Nag-spread na sa ibang lugar, sa malalayong lugar, like the brain, the lungs, the bones, from example, from breast cancer, pumunta sa lungs, sa bones, ganon. Okay? So that's what is meant by metastasis. So this is an illustration with uh, uh, showing the difference between normal cells versus cancer cells. So normal cells, meron kang, kung meron kang unfixable, may, meron kang damage sa DNA, part of the gene, so it, it goes to the natural death Okay, apoptosis ang tawag. Pag cancer cells, meron kang uh, dis distraction or naging abnor there's an abnormality in the gene, the DNA, it keeps on dividing. No? So yan ang course ng cancer cell. Instead of dying, kung sira na yung DNA, ito naman sa, sa cancer cells, it keeps on dividing, dividing, ayaw huminto. Again, this is another illustration. For normal cell, kung may growth factors in the body, magdi-divide yung cells normally. Pag walang growth factors, hindi magdi-divide, there will be no growth. But for cancer cells, whether you have growth or no growth factors, it keeps on dividing. Walang katapusan. No? Another illustration, normal cells versus cancer cells. Starting point, healthy cells. So nag-divide siya normally into two. No? And then, Karon ka ng healthy tissue. Okay. And then some, some of them die and then magdi-divide ulit to form normal tissue. 
Now, pag dito sa dito naman pumunta, ito yung rota, mayroon kang genetic changes or damage to the gene, then you can you can have formation of cancer cells. And then when you have formation of cancer cells, it keeps on dividing, dividing, okay? And then it becomes a mass or a malignant tumor. Okay. Okay. A cancer cell, a cancer can either be a, a bukol, yung nakakapa, nakikita, or pwede ding mga hindi nakikita nasa blood cells like leukemia. Leukemia, you don't, you don't see a mass, but there is a cancer there in the blood, in the mga blood cells. No? Another illustration, normal cell, naging cancer cell, it keeps on dividing, doubling, okay? And then, until it forms into a mass, in a malignant cancer mass, okay? Another illustration, cancer cells dividing, okay? Ito, ito yung normal, nanti-divide na siya, okay? And these are normal cells. And then, pag pag uh, tuloy tuloy ito nangyayari, magiging tumor na. Lalabas yung tumor, bukol na. No? So, what's the difference between uh, cancer cells and normal cells? In a nutshell, let me just repeat it again. I said this earlier. Normal cells obey instructions, but cancer cells do not. But, okay, matigas ang ulo ng cancer cells. Hindi siya nakikinig, okay? Normal cells grow and divide only as needed to replace damage or aging cells. Yung tumatanda na, okay, namamatay na mga, mga cells. Mature cells have specialized functions. Once they fulfill their purpose, no, they die off, completing their life cycle. This is for the normal cells. Now, for cancer cells, they have mutated genes. May problema dun sa genes and are less specialized than normal cells. Cancer cells don't have the regu regular routine, okay? Needed or not, they grow and grow and divide and don't die off, hindi sila namamatay, when they should. It's this out-of-control growth that leads to the development of cancer. So cancer cells pile up to, to form tumors if you're talking about yung mga bukol na cancer. As I said, mayroong special type na cancer they don't present as bukol, but yung mga blood cancer. Okay? So they can also spread into the surrounding tissue. Okay? And these cells also break away and travel to other parts of the body. Okay? Yung malayo, no? As I said, for example, breast, pwedeng lumipat sa lung, sa bones. Okay? Colon cancer, pwedeng lumipat sa liver. You know? okay? So back to the basic questions. Does everyone inherently have cancer cells in their body that have the potential or that may lead to cancer development during their lifetime? Or is it that everyone does not inherently have cancer cells in their body but have initially some pisa normal cells that eventually develop into cancer cells for one reason or another? So these are the two basic questions that we're going to answer today. So the answer right away is number is this one. We don't have inherent cancer cells. We initially have normal cells, but eventually develop into cancer cells for one reason or another. And usually it's due to a mutated gene. So the answer again, no, we don't have cancer cells in our bodies. And most of the time, cells with damaged DNA, meaning the gene in the cells, either repair themselves or die off through apoptosis. Okay, But there is the potential for cancer that happens only when neither of those things happen. Okay, Kung di siya namamatay as they should, okay, and then they cannot repair themselves, then gakaroon tayo ng cancer development. So again, this is the, the, the answer to that question. So what causes cancer? Cancer link is linked to damaged DNA. Gen, DNA is essentially the gene that we have in our body. Pag, pag may normal gene, okay lang. Pag nasira, okay, that's the time, yan ay mga umpisa ng possible cancer. 
inherited genetic mutations are associated with 5 to per, 5 to 10% of all cancers. So kung meron tayong inheritance from our parents na merong mutations from the uh, in the gene, okay, this constitute only about 5 to 10%. Majority, 95 to 90% are still not inherited cancer. So gene mutations uh, causing uh, cancer. So it's uh, it's due to environment or other causes outside the gene. Now, if you have if you have one of these uh, genetic mutations, although it increases your risk for developing cancer, but it is not inevitable. Hindi lahat ay nagkakaroon ng cancer despite this. But pero mataas ang risk to have cancer if you have inherited genetic mutations for cancer. Now, one can acquire genetic mutations through other factors. As I said, 5 to 10% lang inherited. The others are acquired no? through your lifetime. So examples of uh, uh, events that can cause uh, acquisition of genetic mutations, not through inheritance. Okay? Chemicals in tobacco, that means smoking. Okay, Tobacco smoke. Ultraviolet rays from the sun or tanning beds kung mas so, sobrang exposed to that uh, sun rays. Then exposure to radiation, including radiation treatment. Okay. Radiotherapy, example. Okay. Poor diet, including a high intake of processed meats. It's another potential cause. Physical inactivity, walang exercise, walang movement. This is another theorize possible cause for acquired genet genetic mutation, alcohol misuse, excessive alcohol, excessive exposure to chemicals as a radon, lead, asbestos, and then infections such as infected from human papillovirus, usually causing uh, cervical cancer, and hepatitis causing hepatitis B especially, leading to uh, hepatic cancer or liver cancer. So these are the common factors that can lead to acquired genetic mutations. Now the exact reason someone develops cancers cannot always be determined. It's usually multifactorial combination of a lot of factors that contribute to the start of the cancer. So some of this will be, as I said, multifactorial. One could be genetic factor, there's a predisposition for it environmental factors, and then personal lifestyle factors like uh, uh, lifestyle mean inactivity, no, exer uh, no exercise, poor diet, no? okay. then environment, yung mga exposure to the, uh, to the lead, to asbestos. No? Okay. Now, once a cell has mutation, it's passed on to every cell it produces. Then, chain reaction yan, tuloy-tuloy na yan, Mag then it will form into a cancer. We cannot completely eliminate the risk of cancer if you ask the question, can we lower the risk of cancer? We cannot. Okay. But there are steps that we can take to reduce our risk. Pinaliktad ko lang naman ito yung slides, no? the content of these slides, dun sa una. So what are the risks? So to reduce the risk, you just avoid alcohol, drink, uh, avoid tobacco, drink alcohol in moderation, protect your skin from the sun, stick to a healthy, balanced diet, exercise, hygienic practice against viral infections such as hepatitis and papilo, papilo, human papilloma virus. People often talk about cancer genes. Naririnig natin yan. May cancer gene ba ka ko? Siya? Ayo? So with the misinterpretation that there are cancer cells inherently present in the body. I think uh, I commonly hear this, ano, may cancer genes tayo, no? kaya nagkopos tayo ng cancer sa katawan. No. The answer is no. Cancer genes are not cancer cells inherently present in the body. Normal cells are initially present. Yan ang starting point for cancer development. Hindi yung originally na may cancer cell ka, so the destined ka to develop cancer. So it starts with a normal cell, tapos nasira because of uh, of the factors that I mentioned earlier, na damage ng 
DNA, hindi na ma-fix, hindi na ma-repair ng katawan, no? And then it will form into a cancer. Now, there are three types of normal genes in the body that regulates the cell growth, division, and death. These are the so-called proto-oncogenes, tumor suppressor genes, and DA, DNA repair genes. So a lot of people mistake these as cancer genes, but these are genes in the body that control the development of cancer. Normally, they are present. So normally, they are called proto-oncogene, tumor suppressor gene, DNA repair gene. Kung may problema rito, then we say that there was a problem in the, in the uh, proto-oncogene, kaya naging oncogene. Okay? And then there's a problem in tumor suppressor genes, kaya hindi na niya makontrol ma yung pag-divide pag, 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 pag ng mga cells. And then here, what, the DNA repair genes, kung may problema, hindi niya marirepair yung mga damaged cells. Okay. So to amplify uh, more on this one, Okay. So when you say proto-oncogenes, these are genes that normal, okay, normal ito, huh? normally help cells grow and divide to make new cells. So we have these genes which uh, enable our cells to make new cells or to help the cells stay alive. Huh? Now when the proto-oncogene mutates, meron kung may konting sira na dun sa gene na yon, there are too many copies or eight, no? it can become or it it's now it's now activated okay when it's not supposed to be at which point we now call it oncogene so when you say oncogene there's an oncogene now that's the start of the cells growing out of control so this is the reason why we have this uh, cancer formation so at, this is one of the uh, one of the kinds of gene mutation that would happen that would lead to a um, cancer formation. Okay. May problema dun sa proto-oncogene. Now, we have the so-called tumor suppressor gene in our body. Again, as I said, normal gene siya that ang function niya to slow down the cell division and it tells the cells to die at the right time. Okay. So, uh, parang program cell death. Yeah, sasabihin niya, pwede ka na matay, pwede matay ka na. No? Okay. So, but when the tumor suppressor gene does not work properly, then hindi siya namamatay. So, so the cells can grow out of control, keep on dividing, okay? hindi niya siya nasusuppress na, then this can lead to cancer. So, a tumor suppressor gene, just to, to expound on this further para maintindihan ninyo, it's just like a brake pedal on a car. It normally helps keep the cells from dividing too quickly just as a brake keeps a car from going too fast. When something goes wrong with a tumor suppressor gene, that stops it from working, then the cell division get out of control, and then you have cancer cell coming out, cancer coming out. The other type of gene, which is the DNA repair gene, again, it's normally present. We have genes for that, okay? So, so when the uh, genes known as DNA repair gene acts like a person who repairs a car, they help fix uh, mistakes in the DNA. And if they cannot fix them, this trigger the cells to die so that the mistakes can cause any, any further problem. Okay? So, so you know, it's a repair gene. Because when a cell divides to make new cells, it needs to make new copy of all its DNA. Sometimes it meron kang mga natural error, karon ng mistake in the DNA. So, inaayos ng DNA repair gene. Normally, meron tayo dyan, no? parang auto, auto repair yan. No? Pero kung may problema dun sa DNA repair gene, hindi niya marirepair, kaya cancer will come out. So, summary and takeaway. So, I posted these questions, but the answer is this one. Okay. So, everyone does not inherently have cancer cells in their body, but we have in what we have is initially normal cells that eventually develop cancer cells for one reason or another, the ones that I mentioned. Okay. So the bottom line, bottom line is that we don't all have cancer cells in our body. 
that the sheer number of cells in our body constantly make uh, means that there's always a possibility that some may be damaged right? because it keeps on uh, reproducing, dying, etc. May, may, may chance na masisira din yung mga cells natin. But even then, those damaged cells won't necessarily turn into cancer. Kasi meron tayo mga repair, DNA repair gene, we have the tumor suppressor gene, gano'n. So cancer typically derives from damage to DNA through inherited genetic mutation. That's one pathway. Okay? Or something that we are exposed to in our life, daily life. Yung sinasabi natin na genetic uh, environmental factor and then lifestyle factor. Okay? So we cannot control genetic mutations. But some lifestyle changes can help lower our risk of developing cancer. And if we don't have damaged proto-oncogene, tumor suppressor gene, and DNA repair genes, okay, then automatically we say that we will not have cancer development. Kung intact po lahat ito, nagpa-function lahat itong tatlo, no, then we don't have cancer coming out in our body. So take away in relation to patient empowerment, be always in touch with reliable medical information on the topic. Does everyone have cancer cells in the body? Knowledge is power. It gives power. Use the four case of patient empowerment, kaalaman, kakayanan, karapatan, and kapangyarihan to gain greater control over decisions and make better decisions on whether everyone have cancer cells in their body as part of your health management. So with that, I end my pep talk today. Does, ever, does everyone have cancer cells in their body? I hope I have empowered you to have a better understanding on this topic as part of your health management. Before we go to the question and answer portion, reminder, please take the online learning Kung evaluation test exercise for mastery of learning and have a perfect score to get a certificate like the one shown here. And then 25, and there will, this, a new, there will be a change here. 25 or letter certificates will entitle one mentee to a voucher for a RO on tele, uh, medical consultation, either face to face or telemedical. Last request please type in your feedback in the chat box during the open forum and before we adjourn. Let's now have a group picture taking before we start the QA and interactions. So please show your face now. Okay, are you all ready? Ready. One, two, one, two, three. Just save it first. You can also take pictures at your end if you want for, for prosperity purposes. Okay. The floor is now open for questions, comments, recommendations, suggestions, and even I allow uh, consultations if you want, just a short one. We still have 20, 30 minutes to for, the, for this open forum. Before, let me ask this first question, this question, before you attended this uh, pep talk, what, have, what, what was in your mind? Do you believe that we have cancer cells in the body? Can I have a show of hands? Okay. Sino pa? Isa lang? Isa? Dalawa? Okay. So tama yung perception ko. Kaya I thought of this topic. Na? Kasi a lot of people have also been asking me at baka palagi tinatanong, may cancer cells pa tayo? Bakit ang daming pasyente, ang daming tao na may cancers? Yeah. Okay. So so with this lecture, I have I hope I have clarified that. No? Wala tayong 
Kasi pag sinabi mong cancer cells, parang destined to, to have it ka na eh, di ba? So, pwedeng hindi ka magkaroon ng cancer. Okay. Sa sisira, nagkakaroon ka ng cancer pag yung isang cells mo na, na damage, nagkaroon ng gene mutation, and then it stops, uh, it keeps on growing, na hindi makontrol, yan nagiging bukol, no? nakakapanay bukol, no? then, yan ang, yan ang, ano, yan ang the course of events, no? So, any questions? You can raise your hands or you can unmute yourself and then just, uh, Hello, Doc. Good afternoon. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. Aloy. Uh, Miss Aloy. Oh, Miss uh, Thank you. Marian. 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 Marian what? Aloy? Marian Rose Bailo. Bailo. Okay. So, yeah. Thank okay. So, thank you for attending. First time mo sa amin? Yes po. First time. Um, Sister-in-law ko si Mary Chris. Miss if ah si you... uh, si Chris ni Sesha oh, si... yes po okay sister in law mo opo okay 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 so, so she told you she she uh, extend the invitation to you na no? okay ah uh, yes po kasi um last uh two three years ago na notice ko na may ano ako dito sa thyroid lumaki ngayon mm -hmm. andito kasi ako sa Hong Kong nagpa ultrasound na ako two years ago parang 3 cm lang to tas nung last, ngayong december last december nagpa ultrasound ulit ako naging 6 cm na siya pero 2 years ago na na ano na din to na biopsy okay ah uh, it's benign Pangal okay. dalawang beses yun eh nung pangalawa walang makuhang cells yung doctor parang tubig lang siya ah mm -hmm. uh, tas december nagiging 6 C centime uh, CM na siya. Eh yung hospital dito, hindi sila tumatanggap ng so far kasi wala naman akong nararamdaman. Okay naman yung paglunok ko, yung breathing ko okay naman. Ang question ko is kung kasi 2 years ago di ba benign siya, possible ba na mag form into cancer siya? Yung cyst. The, uh, the answer, the usual answer is no. Once uh Okay, yung isang cells, once it's divide abnormally, dumadami mm -hmm. ng cells, nagiging bukol, no? there are two pathways. It can either be a benign tumor or malignant tumor. No? Yung benign tumor, may bukol nga, pero hindi siya, wala siyang behavior ng cancer. No? Yung behavior niya, lumalaki lang siya, okay, steady lang siya, no? at uh, hindi siya nag-invade, hindi siya nag-metastasize, nag-spread, no? Pag yung cancer cells, yung cancer usually nag-invade, nag-metastasize. That's how we differentiate benign and malignant bukol, no? Okay? Yung sa iyo, may biopsy ka na noon benign, no? Okay? So it it becomes malignant this year, no? Okay. Baka hindi baka mali yung biopsy noon na no? but use it usually doesn't mean na from benign naging malignant na no? so it could be that uh, birang bira pero pwede so most likely kung naging cancer ngayon na no? after 2 years na no? baka mali yung biopsy report nung una 2 years ago na no? okay pero yung paglalaki niya ngayon na no? it doesn't mean automatically it's cancer na no? okay so most likely baka benign pa rin yan na unless you have okay. symptoms of cancer. Okay? May inom ka ba ng uh, kapot? Uh, wala akong iniinom kasi nung 2 years 2 years ago, tinanong ko yung doctor, sabi ko need ko bang uminom. Sabi niya no need kasi something may mention sa sa T3 na nadugo na ano, hindi daw na check. So sabi niya you're okay, it's benign, you have to do a proper diet yun lang. Ngayon, um Nung December, may nakakausap din akong doktor. Hindi din nila ako mabigyan ng gamot. Ay, ano pala? Nung December, sinabi ng doktor, ano ako, hyperthyroidism. Tapos, sabi ko, maiinom ba akong gamot para manormal yung ano? Sabi niya, hindi daw kasi kailangan pang i-ano yung T3. Something T3 sa dugo. 
Yeah, lab test. Oh, sure. lab test oh yung lab test. Oh. Uh, hindi siya appeal sa hindi siya kasama sa package kasi. So kailangan ko pang magpa-test ulit to check sa ano ng T3 ko if normal or hindi para mabigyan ako ng gamot. Hindi pa ako nakapagpa ano, lab ulit. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll just uh, cut this uh, consult this is actually consultation. So, uh, very quickly lang ha. Yung bukol mo 3 years 3 years ago binay hindi ba na biopsy, no? Malit yes, pa. Yes So pwedeng walang gamot. You got the, the last, uh, hindi siya pag may bukol na binay, usually we, we don't talk about hyperthyroidism, no? Okay. So or hypo, no? Ang pinag-uusapan kung cancer o hindi, no? So kung um, kung maliit pa lang pwedeng uminom ka ng gamot para wag lang siya lumaki o kumisan nawawala okay pero bihiran mawala totally no basta wag lang lumaki kung wala kang mang gamot some doctors kasi doesn't believe yung ano na basta babantayan lang hindi na kailangan gamot no okay so kung wala kang gamot ng inom pwedeng lumaki yan di ba okay so kung lumaki baka ngayon lumaki because wala kang gamot no kaya Gano'ng kalaki na ba yung bukol mo ngayon? Masyadong malaki na ba? 6 cm. 6 cm. Kitang-kita na sa leeg. Can I take a look? Oh. At, can I take a look uh, at the leeg? Kung, if okay lang with sige. you. Okay po. Ah, okay. Nakikita niyo lahat. Kitang-kita na, no? Okay. So, okay. So, nasa Hong Kong ka? Yes po. Okay. So, meron kang ultrasound? Oo, meron akong ultrasound nung December. Tapos sinawagan ako ng hospital ng government dito. Mag-ultrasound ulit ako sa next week, Tuesday, March 12. Okay. So, Kasi, then, kung, kung meron kang ultrasound, may result sa ultrasound mo? Oo, meron po. Sige. Ah, sige, kung gusto mo, uh, padala mo sa akin para ma-interpret ko. Kasi kung ma-benign siya, Okay. Kasi kaya kaming doctor, iba-iba yung approach namin, no? Okay. Mm -mm. So, I cannot uh, I cannot assure you kung anong dapat ang gagawin sa iyo. Kasi kung ako, meron akong uh, methods of uh, analyzing things, no? Iba kami. Iba ako, no? Okay. Sige pa. So, you can, you can communicate. Sabi mo kay Chris, no? Tulungan ka, no? So, Sige pa. Thank you po. Pwede mo padala sa akin, baka uh, titignan ko muna yung ultrasound mo kasi hindi ko makakapa eh. Dapat nakakapa ko yung leg mo. Ano? So, kailan mo? Oh, Isisend ko na lang yung ultrasound. Oh, sige, send mo na lang habang nasa Hong Kong ka. Okay? okay, thank you po. Thank you. Well, okay. So, any more questions? As, uh, in, as, do sa doc. topic as much as possible. Opo. Oh, <laughs> After okay. the doc. Oh, hi. Ready po. Uh, Ray. Question po. Uh, oh. Si mom kasi before, she had cervical cancer, ano, stage 4. So, she um, passed away last 2020. So, parang, it, it, actually, doon ako na curious sa, ano po eh, sa, sa, ano nyo, sa presentation niya as to, ano yung nag-originate, bakit kaya siya nagkaroon ng ganun? Ah. In terms of sa, ano kaya, baka lang po may idea kayo doon. In terms of, kuwari sa cervical cancer, kuwari, cervical cancer. Naririn naririnig ko kasi na parang nag-originate daw yun from HPV. Parang malaki yung chance. Uh -huh. Though, entirely, entirely true po ba yun na parang 100% of our cervical cancers na meron tayo ngayon sa medical history po. No? 100% galing po ba ng HPV? Or maring mari pong hindi? Mari ring ibang ano din? Hindi. The outright answer is no. Okay. So as I said, maraming causes. Meron akong slides okay. yan kanina. No? We cannot exactly determine the specific, yung pinaka-specific cause. No? Maraming factors. Pwedeng genetic predisposition from the start, from the very start. Meron siyang uh, inanganak na siya. Meron siyang genes from her parents na, na, na parang parang konting konting uh, damage lang dun sa cells magkakaroon, magkakaroon ng cancer na development of cancer and other environmental factors saka personal hygiene na okay so okay. yung uh, yung human papilloma virus na okay is one of the uh, hypothesize or eh, proven naman proven na proven. possible cause uh, cause for uh, cervical cancer na no? okay 
Kasi nakikita mo naman yung mga example, uh, cervical cancer is uh, quite common in the Philippines. No? Oh, po eh. Quite common. At makikita mo rin ito doon sa mga madre, di ba? May mga madre, baka meron din, no? Wala namang mga sexual activity yung mga madre. I hope, wala, di ba? Uh, so, usually yung kakaroon din sila. So, that means, uh, hindi sila exposed, likely hindi sila exposed to human sa, sa virus. Opo. Yeah, di ba? Okay. Now, those who have, who are married, who are exposed, who are, who have uh, undergone a lot of sexual activities, no? Kahit na single, pero mas marami pa rin doon sa, with multiple partners, di ba? Pag may multiple partners, higher chance higher chance for the HPV, di ba? Okay. Pero in answer to your questions, no, hindi lahat, no? So, hindi lahat ay due to HPV. Okay? So, okay. ilang ta- ilang taon ni mother mo nung karon ng H- uh, cervical ng cervical 20 that was 2019 51. 51. Yes po. Ilan ilan ang anak ilang kayo magkakapatid? Tatlo po. Tatlo, yeah. So, so yun, I don't think, uh, baka hindi siya HPV the cause, but ibang cause, no? Ganun. Parang iba po. Parang, uh-huh. kaya ka, par- sa, kung ganun po yung para premise, parang ang actually follow-up ko po is, sabihin parang kami po ba as yung mga anak niya, may, tumaas yung risk in terms of having cancer dahil doon. Kung lalaki, uh, dahil, uh, kung lalaki ka, wala kang risk for cervical cancer. Of course, hindi mean po in general. <laughs> okay. Hindi mean po in ge- cancer in general. Uh, uh, in general, uh, hindi rin, hindi rin uh, posible, pero hindi to so. Hindi, I mean, absolute. Hindi absolute. Hindi absolute. Uh, okay. okay. But kung may trending ka na, sabihin natin, uh, uh, kung may, oh, let's take uh, yung mga regardless of sex, ha? Huh? Kung may colon cancer sa family, no, whether babae or lalaki, papa mo o mama mo, no, no, no. So there could be a higher chance for colon cancer in specific types, no? Okay. But to say in yung pinaka may isang cancer ako sa family, baka prone na ako sa cancer any kind. Oh, yes, oh. huh? So hindi I mean, don't be afraid of that, no? I mean, don't be ang- too anxious on, on that. But you still have to be anxious about the possibility of cancer developing developing in your lifetime, di ba? To say, exposed to this environment. So you just try your best. The best effort is just healthy lifestyle lang naman eh. Okay? Healthy lifestyle and then avoid all those environment factors. No? Okay? And then be educated para ma, ma, ano ka, ma well informed on how to diagnose, how to discover it early enough. No? And then the rest, ganun na lang. Pray and hope. Okay. Okay. Thank you po, Doc. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, Ray. So, thank you for attending. Keep on attending. Baka... Kailan makita na meet dati? I think na meet na kita dati. COVID po. No, ah, sa- kayo po yung naka-teleconsult ka nun before. Kayo po yung uh, sa COVID, yeah. Ako, oh, 2020. So, et- itong pep talk na started with the COVID. Initiated by the COVID. <laughs> o nga po eh. Okay. Ganda po, maganda. <laughs> okay. Any more questions? Raquel, any, anything? Good afternoon, Doc. Okay lang. Hello, Doc. Sarinig po ba ako? Am I clear, Lik- Doc? Sound, sound. Hello. Hello, Doc. Sound, and and hindi kita marinig, hindi kita na, narinig. Okay, hindi kita marinig. Anyway, kasi meron tayong bagong uh, attendant, attendees at this to. Uh, Mary Ann Rebato. In, anything that you want to ask, Mary Ann? Okay, ayon na hiya. Okay. Hello po. Okay. So far po, wala pa naman po. Okay, wala. So, ayun, wag, uh, ayun nga po, yun po. Meron po kasi akong PICO since 2014 pa po. Yung 
yung worry ko po, pwede po ba tong mauwi sa ovarian cancer? Pag kasi ano, hindi siya nawawala. Hanggat na, na, na nagbuntis ako nung 2019, tapos po kada ultrasound ko, nandun pa rin siya. Mm-hmm. Anong sabi ng doktor mo, OB mo? Wala naman pong, ayun po, may in-advice po sa akin after ko mga anak, bumalik daw po ko sa OB. Yun nga lang po, hindi na ako nakabalik. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kasi po nung last, ano, nakita nila 1 cm yung size po ng ano ko, picos. Okay, just tapos just, hanggang ngayon hindi ko na ulit na ano. Ah oh, sige. Kung meron kayong concern, itanong niyo kagad sa OB mo. Ito ay sa iyo sa PCOS, di ba? Sila nag-diagnose sa iyo, di ba? Sila nag-diagnose ng PCOS, okay. no? So tanong mo sa kanila, no? Para mas uh, direct ang answer okay. nila sa iyo, no? But for 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 the moment, no? Ah uh, yung sinasabi tanong mo will PCOS lead to cancer? We don't know, no? We don't know, no? So Most likely, wala namang, uh, wala namang reports na high risk for ca- ovarian cancer. Di ba? Wala namang high risk. Okay. No? So, okay. pag may ob- nagkaroon ka ng ovarian cancer, baka hindi ibig sabihin because of your PCOS, but baka may other factors. No? Okay. So, okay. at the moment, just live on. No? Just a healthy lifestyle. No? No, no something okay. about PCOS, about ovarian cancer para for your own protection and then just hope and pray that you won't develop that ovarian cancer. Na? Okay? Oh, okay. Pero huwag ka mag-focus sa okay. ovarian cancer lang. Ha? Lahat ng tao pwedeng tamaan ng kahit na anong cancer. Na? Okay? Oo po, oo po. Kasi kadalasan may mga tao na talagang yung pamilya nila may breast cancer, may colon cancer, doon na lang sila nakafocus. Diba? Yung silang worried, okay. worried, no? But take care of your whole body, no? So, healthy, life, okay. healthy lifestyle is the general strategy for a prevention of cancer, okay. no? Okay? Like po yung sister ko po, last year lang, wala naman pong sa mama, papa ko, wala naman pong sakit sa puso. Pero yung kinamatay po ng ate ko is, ano po, nag-cardiac arrest po siya. Yeah. Okay. Tama. Mm. So, so, life is unpredictable. Anytime oh, we will go and we don't know the answer, we don't know when, we don't know the reason, we don't know the diagnosis. Yeah, always be prepared. Oh, na? Always be prepared oh, tayo. Na? Okay? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So, any more questions? Thank you po. You're welcome. Wala na po, Doc. Thank you po. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. About for the old timers, Seni, it's nice to see you again. Seni Cabral, welcome back. May tanong ka, Seni? Meron po. Doc, yung sister ko di po ba nag-diagnose tapos tinanggal na yung breast niya. Uh-huh. Maraming nagsasabi bakit daw magpapakemo kasi daw yung pati good cell daw ma- madadamage na ano. Uh-huh. How true po yun? Tama. Ang, ang second chemo na po niya sa next week. Aha. So, tama yung sinasabi na chemo can cure normal cells. Na? Kasi, kasi wala ka kasi last week. Last week, we talk about chemotherapy on breast cancer. Na? Treatment. Na? In-explain ah. it on, na? So chemotherapy can kill normal cells at cancer cells, no? Okay? Apo. So hindi mo ma-avoid talaga 'yon, no? Kaya lang ginagawa ng mga doctor, so siyempre tinitimpla, tinitimpla nila yung gamot na parang parang uh, yung dosage will not be uh, overwhelming, hindi mamatay yung marami na normal cells, no? May konting mamamatay na normal cells, pero majority ang tatamaan niya ay mga cancer cells, no? Okay. And then that's reason why they give it in cycles, no? Every three weeks, no? Ganon. Para to help, to allow the uh, normal cells, yung natamaan, to recover. No? To recover mo na bago bigyan another cycle, no? Okay. So, kaya kung, kung everyday binibigyan, ah, then yun. So, okay. Mamatay yung pasyete kung everyday may chemo. Eight weeks na po. Eight sessions daw po siya. Eight sessions. 
Okay. Yung chemotherapy. Pero okay naman. Okay naman po doc yung bone scan niya tsaka yung CT scan. Wala pa namang kumalat na cancer sa ibang part ng ano niya. Okay. Ah sige. So okay. thank you po doc. You're welcome. Okay. Any more questions? Sana. Wala na. Going one, two. Habet, anything? There's nothing at the chat box. So, kung wala nang tanong, sino bang gusto? Maria, I would like to share your thoughts on this. Maria Husta Palotan. Marami, maraming ideas si Maria. Maria. <laughs> Cancer cells. Okay. Okay. Kung wala nang uh, tanong, wala nang comments, wala nang consultation, let's call it a day. No? We'll have uh, another session next Saturday. No? Okay. Okay. So it's uh, 3... Ah, magtama, 3, 5 lang naman. 3 or 4 lang naman. No? Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you, Bob. See you next week. You, Happy weekend, Bob. Happy weekend, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Okay, bye-bye.